Hello folks and welcome back. Well, we're jumping off the railroad track again folks. And we're going to do a rainbow trout ugly dog style. So we got pearlized gold, mossy meadow, and inca gold, and we're going to use some pink pigment in this bait. And then we're going to be using black and the old toothbrush. So uh, you know what? Let's get this party started. This is a spinning jerk bait we're going to do this on, folks. Uh, be a nice little lure to paint up in this pattern so uh, you know what this is probably different than anything you've ever seen but you know a trout is colored according to the body of water he comes out of and we actually found this trout and uh, I'm going to paint him for you to show you what he looked like so uh, we're going to start with our pearlized gold and we're going to be mixing that gold with mossy green I don't want a really really dark I want it to, to blend together and get a certain color so we're mixing paints that's just about the color I want is a green looking gold like that right there so, and that's going to be where we're going to start this party so if you're new to the channel welcome my name's Charlie this is kind of what I do when I'm not doing work is I come out here in my shop and play. I debated mixing that gold with tan and the more I looked at that the more that I saw the green. So let's get her started here. Oh boy. Woo wee. Well listen you turned that air pressure up didn't you? about the color I'm after folks. Just about right there. Kind of like that color. And then we'll throw some green on it. That's a green, good lord. We're going to put our uh, ink of gold right over the top of that and we're going to leave that belly white. That's the plan, Stan. I like that color. That's a looks pretty close to what it's supposed to be in the pictures that I saw. I do quite a bit of research and look at different stuff, folks. Uh, I try to paint different lures than other people. I like to do different things. I like to do challenges. If you're new to the channel, send me in a challenge. Let me see what I can come up with. I got crazy ideas running through my redneck mind all the time, so. I'll be glad to do something for you. Let's get us a little cup here and get our ink of gold. And we're going to run that ink of gold just kind of along that bottom of that bait. And not very much of it. I just want a gold shimmer in there. So. That's all that I want. I got that just a hair thin. I can tell you by looking at it. That'll be a hair thick. So if you're new to my channel, this is how I check my paint right here to see if it'll run through my airbrush. If it runs down that finger pretty fast, it definitely going to run through that airbrush if it sets up there on the top of that finger and does nothing you're way too thick okay with your permission absolutely okay just going to start kind of fading that gold into that bottom of that bait that's what I'm doing folks Mm. 
just like that right there you can see the gold you can see the green now the next one that we're going to be doing that's all the gold I want on that bait right there folks I want that little bit of white on that belly so uh, we're done with our gold so folks this bait has got to be really really dry before I start in with my pigment uh, I'm the only other dude that I've ever seen even attempt to do this and put it on the bait and make the epoxy stay without taking it off and I have succeeded so we're going to do it again I promised my viewers that I'd do another bait with a pink pigment with a pigment, I didn't say pink, but a pigment so we're going to let this thing dry really good and then we'll be back to put the pigment on it, the eyes on it, the epoxy on it and splatter it not necessarily in that order so I'll be back shortly okay folks we're back we got her all dried up very good uh, now we're going to use our pink pigment and start putting it on this bait I'm going to get really really dark back behind the eyeball on this bait it's as dark as I can get you know then we're just going to start brushing down that bait There's our pink stripe on our rainbow on that side. It's just something fun to play with. And I can guarantee you one thing, I'd fish it. And that's all I think about is fishing and hunting. What do you think, boss lady? I think it's different from anything I've seen. Yeah, I think it's definitely different. I think we're going to stick it back up here on the stand. And uh, I'm going to clean these brushes and put this pigment up. It's just something different, folks, that nobody else has done. I'm just playing with it. Did you tell them that pigment was a powder? Yes, pigment is a paint powder. I didn't remember you calling them that. Yeah, I explained it that it was for uh, actually for coloring soft baits. Well, I heard that part. I just didn't hear that it was a powder. Yeah, it's a pigment powder. And once that this thing is epoxy, it'll really shine like a diamond in a goat's something. I can't say that word on uh, the YouTube place. <laughs> But I can say it here in my shop. It's kind of been a fun evening, folks. What I'm doing now is I'm going to spot this bait. And I'm going to use the toothbrush, toothbrush method. To do it so I put my paint in here and I thin my paint well I must take off get me a paper towel over here and I'm just gonna soften that brush up and put a little bit of bit of water on it here and soften it get it toward a flick and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second I've done this on several videos so and I will do a video and show you the three different methods for spotting a bait if that's something you're interested in leave it in the comments below because you got three different methods that I know of so we've got the paint on our end of our toothbrush there 
we're just going to knock a lot of it off and we're just going to take our finger and start spotting that bait just let that thing go slowly down that bait and you can put as much spots or as little spots as you want on one that's up to you it's all about creating be your own person see there I'm spotting that bait if you get a little up on top it don't matter it's what I said it's all about creating I can even spot that top right quick we'll just spot the top and make it all kind of blend together see there all I did was spot that bait so let's just throw us some spots up on that top you don't too they don't have to be thick make your spots up there on that top a little thinner just like that right there folks I just spotted my wife <laughs> yeah oh boy <laughs> she got little black dots all over her forehead I finally got one up on her so that's how you spot a bait folks so now we're going to let this dry a minute we're going to throw some eyes on it throw some poxy on it and get it hung up to dry but first I'm going to clean my wife's toothbrush before I put it back in the house thank you I appreciate that you're welcome at least I didn't put it back in there dirty. You know, me and my wife have a lot of fun. We argue and tease each other quite a bit. One of these days I'll tell you the story about the time that I was uh, in the kitchen. I'm quite a chef, folks. I'm a world of a good cook. She'll tell you that. Yes, I will. And I was in the kitchen making fajitas, and the next thing I know I had a bullet in my freaking head it barely grazed you yeah blood everywhere i was crying and she said tough out fat boy it was a <laughs> little bit of blood i got to express the way i felt the way you felt yes ma'am you whined like a little baby yeah you shot me in the face what would you do well, it wasn't like i was aiming for you howdy folks welcome back we got our little rainbow trout lure all painted up uh, we used Inca gold metallic white pearl gold mossy metal with a black splatter we did it on a little jerk bait uh, it's got BSI epoxy and it's got number six mustad hooks and uh, we put gold eyes in this one and there she is uh, we also used the pigment paint this is not paint this is pink pigment on this lure uh, I think it looks pretty awesome I had some guys over here this morning looking at it and they couldn't believe the way it looked with the pigment in it they said that was the neatest thing they've seen since Bill Pickles and Crackers so so we got it all finished up uh, it was a fun little paint to do I enjoyed doing this paint I'm gonna do some more of these because I got orders for them already guys wanting them so I'm going to have to get some more painted. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And hit that notification bell. Hit that thumbs up button. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. And I'll catch you later.